I want you to imagine you're going out with a group of friends, maybe driving to your favorite restaurant or bar, when suddenly you wake up in the hospital. You can't feel or move your entire body. A doctor walks in the room and tells you, you were in a car accident and sustained a complete spinal cord injury. Or imagine it's just a typical day, but you start to feel a bit under the weather. Nothing out of the ordinary, so you decide to rest and go to bed early. The next morning, you can't feel or move your legs. Later that day, you find out you contracted a rare virus that attacks the spinal cord, leaving you paralyzed from the waist down. These are a couple of examples of how the participants in my study acquired their spinal cord injury. This could happen to you at any point in your life, making you one of the 86,000 Canadians who have a spinal cord injury. Some of your thoughts might be, will I ever walk again? Will anyone find me attractive? Will I be able to have children? Or can I even have sex again? All things many of us take for granted every single day. These thoughts revolve around someone's body image the beliefs and emotions about appearance, health, and function of the body. Many of us have experienced some sort of dissatisfaction with our body. In fact, 80% of young girls reported being more afraid of being fat than of nuclear war, cancer, or even losing their parents. This stems from societal pressures to try to reach an ideal body, which in North America is characterized as being tall and extremely thin or muscular, with the assumption of having an able body. These pressures have been linked to eating disorders, depression, and even suicide attempts. Now, think of someone who has a spinal cord injury. You might think that their experiences with their body must be negative. However, there are two sides to every story. My research focuses on exploring the positive experiences of the body. Although several of my participants disclosed facing many adversities after their injury, they also persevered to pursue their passion whether it was the job they loved or a hobby that brings meaning to their life, such as this participant here. Becoming more independent, improving body function, and learning not to take anything for granted all led to more positive experiences with their body, improving their overall quality of life. One fascinating conclusion in my study is that many of the same positive body image characteristics that are discussed by my participants are the same ones that are discussed by able-bodied individuals, the most important being accepting and appreciating the body for what it can do. This highlights the universal nature of positive body image and illuminates the fact that we can all learn to love our body, regardless of our age, appearance, or ability. Now, imagine that same night you did before. However, this time, there's no car accident and no rare virus. This time, no matter what, when you wake up, you feel love, acceptance, and appreciation for your body because your body is something you will never take for granted. Thank you.